manual mode, so we use the paddle shifters. We'll get on this little access road onto the racetrack. Let's start to spread out to that six car lanes between the cars that we want to maintain uh, while we're out here on track. So again, guys, some, some reminders here of just your reference points. Uh, orange cones right here to the left of you, that's the turning cone. That's where you're going to begin to leave the outside edge and down to the apex, and that'll produce the straightest exit for you so you can accelerate safely off the apex. If you turn in earlier than that, you know, you'll still be turning when you come out of the corner. Okay, we'll cruise on up to fourth gear. And then up to fifth gear down the front street. Then when we begin to slow down, we'll probably downshift to fourth gear, about in the area where that three board's at, somewhere in there. And then looking around to the right, coming from turning cone over to the green apex curving, and then unwind off to the left. Looking up to the right now, guys, remember the most important thing while driving a car on a racetrack or anywhere is that you're looking at where you want to go. So we should be heading up to fifth gear about where my Camaro is and looking up to the top of the hill and then also scanning and using the whole windshield to see this corner. And as we slow down, downshift to fourth gear, look to the right, turn the steering wheel smoothly all the way down to the apex curb here, and then we'll go straight down into the bowl on a nice straight shot, and then into the middle here, and then down to the bottom right to the white line, and then back out. Still in fourth gear, guys, no shifting through that whole scenario. So, Jason, just remember, we don't go high in the bowl, okay? You go into the middle. There's no need to go up that high and almost drop wheels out the gravel. All right, down to third gear where my car is at. Hold it over here to the right, waiting for the turn and go, then looking across to the left. Cruising back over here to the left side, waiting for the turn and go down the left side. Let's go ahead and accelerate here. Build up some speed up the fourth gear. Try to get your tires on each apex curve, though, guys. Make sure the tires are touching the green and white curves at the orange and green cone. We don't want to miss those. Accelerating out up to fifth gear. Back on the brake firm. Downshift to fourth gear. Look around to the right. Turn the steering wheel all the way down to the apex here. And then straight down. Now, Jason, remember what I talked to you about last lap? See where my car is at? Middle. Don't go up high. Just the middle, then down to the bottom. So, middle of the track, Jason, down to the bottom, and then back out. That's better, buddy. Okay. Lightly on the brake here, looking left to right. Uh, Marquise? Marquise, your line's pretty good. You can start carrying a little bit more momentum into the corners, okay? So kind of take your momentum by being a little lighter on the brakes, downshift to third gear. Gently bring it back around here. Look up to the right so you can see your turn and cone for the next corner. There you go, buddy. Good. Good, good. Looking left. All right, now let's go ahead and squeeze that power in a little bit. Get on it a bit. There you go. Waiting on the turn and cone. Okay, now. We'll accelerate onto the front straight up to fourth gear, and then Marquis, you're going to pull over to the right, fall back. And it takes a full power up to fourth. Get it up to fifth gear. All right, back on the brake firm. Down to fourth gear end, looking right. Remember, look at my right tires. Tires at least touching this curb. Good, excellent. Accelerate out. Looking up to the right. Put some weight on the front tires to help the turn. You're going to be a little wide off that apex there. 
corners. You need to slow down a little bit more coming into the corner. Um, that'll just tie that up for you. Looking across to the left, down to the bottom, and then back out smooth. There you go. Okay, looking across to the left. Good, lightly on the brake here. Good, Ed, looking up to the right. Lightly on the brakes down, shift to third. Keep it wide through most of the corner, then gently tighten up at the last moment to hold it right. There you go, a little brush to the brake, looking left. Good, back in the power speed. And waiting for the turn in, go net, and then down over the apex curve. Good, squeeze that throttle all the way down. So hit it twice now. I think you're hitting it too fast. Okay. So one, two. There you go. There we go. Now twist it over to sport one. Oh. And you're all set. Do okay. It there. Nice right. thing about the new car is that it lists up here your PTM mode. The C7 okay. you would never know unless you turn the mode selector again. Okay, cool. cool. Right, Thank man. you, sir. Excuse me. Yes. So when you're when you're in that turn, you want to hold the brake Every lightly, corner, basically, and then as you come out and let off yeah. of it. Yeah. So you want to put weight on the front end of the car with okay. light brake pressure. I mean, you don't have a motor up there anymore, so you yeah. as a driver kind of have to help the car turn. Yeah. I mean, that's with any car. Yeah. But if you ride that brake pedal nearly all the way up to the apex gently, yeah, it's going to turn the car. Okay. All right, because you're putting weight on the front. Gotcha. And that makes the front tires work better. Okay. But the key is that you have to slow down enough so that way you can ease back on the brake as you and come turn. in and ride the gentle brake pressure into the corner. Okay. Right? Yep. I get if you, it. If you yep. brake too late, then, you know, you're going to have to Well, I came, I came off a little bit, and I know what you mean. I started to slide yeah, a little yeah. bit. The front end started moving. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, the car is going to feel a little bit different for you. It's going to perform a little bit better, but 
Again, don't let that added confidence in the car uh, um, exceed your abilities. So just keep yourself uh, on, on on the targets out there and, uh, you know, try not to overdrive it. But you guys are doing good so far. Okay, we'll spread out six car lengths between the cars again. Looking left. You can go ahead and accelerate up to turn 10 here, Jason. Or, or sorry, Ed. Get over to the turn-in cone. Try to ride that brake pedal gently as you turn the wheel to help the car turn. And then we can accelerate out of the corner. Okay. Let's do a rotation. Follow the back behind the Zeus Bronx car. And then, uh, yep, Jason and Marquise head on up on the power up to fifth gear. Good, 
gently tighten up at the last moment to hold it right. And then you can get on the gas over here on the right once you're on the right. Good. Look we'll around. Up on the brake and rotate the car down. Please make sure you do that. 